So I just wanted to make a video showing you something about this. You go on your web browser. Let's do it again. So you got your drawing in your slicing. This is Cura in your slicer. So you slice it. And you slice it. Oh, yeah, it's going to slice that box I'm making, right? And then you save it to the SD card by clicking the button down there, save. And then here it is on the SD card. I called it Top Cover Big, right? Now, I just, from this stage, I just eject it by going down here and clicking on Eject. And you eject it, take the SD card out, take it over to the 3D printer, stick it in, start 3D printing. Now, one out of about 100 3D prints worked okay but then the one out of a hundred would crash or there'd be something wrong where it didn't print properly or, or the nozzle just all of a sudden is printing 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 and then just goes straight into the table and if you're not there to turn it off the machine can you know catch on fire or anything so what i've discovered is i had the machine crash the end of five it just went straight into the table after about 30 minutes of printing. So weird. And I took the SD card out and I put it in the computer here and you go into your browser. So you click on your browser, I just use Chrome. And then you go to Google and you type in G Code Viewer. You go into it, you click on this thing here, you see this? This G Code Viewer. Now it says G Code Analyzer. Now this is so fucking good, this thing. Because you can click on this, choose your file. I choose my, I'm about to put this program in the 3D printer. So from now on, before I put any G code into the 3D printers, I always do this this quick step. Doesn't take long. It only takes like maximum 60 seconds. So you go top cover big, double click that, it loads up. Boom, it's in there. So now it has all this information. It tells you the model size. It tells you the filament it's gonna use, blah, blah, blah. But what we want is we click on 3D. Up the top here, so these little sections here, you click on 3D and there it is. From that G code, it's analyzed it. And all those movements, it's showing you what the computer's, the 3D printer is gonna print. Now, when I did this with the G code that crashed, what happened, right, is there was the thing I was printing, and then there was another print that didn't delete properly. That was there from like six months ago. I have no idea why it didn't delete. I deleted the program and then put on this new G code. But for some reason, it didn't delete it properly. It was still there. So... <laughs> It wasn't there anymore to delete, but it was in this other program, if that makes any sense. So the 3D printer was trying to print what I'm trying to make, and then it was trying to print something else that was there from six months ago. So that can happen when you delete things off your SD card. Sometimes it might not delete. It might think it's deleted, but it's not 100% gone which has happened to me twice now. Not once, but twice. Ooh, FedEx. Bet you that's another 3D printer that I've ordered. But yeah, always go into this G-code analyzer and just quickly look at what you're about to 3D print because it'll show you what's on that code, what the, what the G-code is gonna do. And just roughly go, oh yeah, yep, that's it, that's all right. Doesn't look like there's anything wrong there. Then you can eject this the SD card and print it. It's the safest way.